we'll return to each of the red shaded areas and deepen and reinforce the shading with the Sienna Brown pencil. It will change the color and deepen it a little bit. Also with the Sienna Brown pencil, we'll want to shade the base of each of the golden petals. and then also the tips of the side petals. Now to the leaves, I'll use my green ochre pencil to shade the tips. You'll want it nice and dark on the tip, and then let it fade to nothing as you move towards the center of the leaf. Now we'll be shading the rays on the background, and we'll be using the indigo blue pencil. This is a fun step. What you need to do is you start up against the flat edge of the scallop, and get your pencil tip right in there, kind of line back and forth, and use a little bit of pressure and as you move towards the edge of the ornament you'll loosen up on your pressure so that by the time you get to the edge there really won't be very much color coming off your pencil so you want to do that to each flat area of the scallop I finished shading all the rays around the scallops of the wings and then when I was up against the skirt I just wanted to show you that you want it nice and dark against the skirt. This is kind of like a little side ray there. Now I'm going to shade above her head. I want to bring my pencil tip right up against the hair and this is the dark area. I'm still using the indigo blue pencil. So you want it nice and dark right up against her head. So as I move towards the top of the ornament, I'm going to loosen up on my pressure and let it fade. It should fade pretty much by the time you get to the hole there in the ornament. For our last color pencil step, we'll be using our black color pencil. I like to save the black until the last because it's so highly pigmented and can be smeared easily. We'll want to color in the eyes with the black pencil.
and then with a nice sharp point line around the eyes. You'll want to carefully line the details of the face, also with a black pencil. I find it easier to pull my lines towards myself so I'll turn my piece accordingly. Again, with the black pencil, I'm going to shade the tip of the partridge tail and deepen the shading there. And then I'm going to shade around the large flower. You'll also want to take the shading down at the base of the flower and then underneath her hands, just in that corner there. I'm still using the black pencil and keeping it nice and sharp. I finished lining the detail on the scallops and now I'm going to add a line on the inner section of the wings. You really don't need to line around the edges of the scallops because of the laser etch. Now around the flower in her hair. and her hair.
I've lined around the blouse and collar, and now I'll move over and line the partridge. Most of my lining is done, but I have a few areas to finish. I want to make sure and get the stem. And then line against the skirt. And then with this scalloped area, I am going to line that next to my blouse. Okay, I'm ready to break out my paints again. Some of you may be thinking, what? Paint over colored pencils, but yes, it is possible. I've loaded my liner brush with Josonia's Sunflower, and I've um, wiped a little bit of the color off on a paper towel because I want a, somewhat of a dry brush effect. I'm going to go in and highlight her hair. And I'm working on the petals. I'm using my round brush to add gentle highlights.